Welcome back into your Alaska. Joe Cook here with your Wednesday Hump Day Sportscast. This event is one you can only see in the 49th state. How does high speeds on skis in the mountains sound? Sprinkle in some snow machines, add some steep slopes, and add a dash of danger, and you have the Arctic Man. This weekend is the 30th year of the Arctic Man, and there will be almost 50 competitors in this year's field. Last year, the interior was in the winter circle. North Pole's Ashley Exhelm won the women's ski event, and James Scott took men's snowboard. Ashley Nikolai of Fairbanks won women's snowboard as a rookie. Now, according to officials, there are extra parking spaces, so you don't need to reserve anything or call. You can just ride up and get a spot, but come prepared. There will be no gas or diesel available this year, so bring a gas can or two. This year's main event race is set for Friday at 11 a.m. The 30th Boodoo in the Hoodoo. We'll have a full report coming in the Saturday edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. Race director Howie Thies highlights what you'll need to look out for in this year's event. Probably about seven or eight Olympic players from Czechoslovakia, Austria, I'm in Australia, Canada, they're all from all over. They've always been wanting to do it and they finally got the opportunity to make it happen. Two and a half foot of snow in the last two days and the sun's out today and we're ready to rock and roll. So if you want to ride and you haven't seen snow all winter, this is the place to come. Maybe, just maybe, the Nanak Cross Country team could be starting something that we may see on a regular basis. This past Saturday, the Nanaks competed in Seattle, Washington for the University of Puget Sound's Shotwell Invitational. It's the first time in program history the cross country team traveled for a collegiate track meet. A number of Nanaks set personal records on the track. Dorothy O'Donnell out of West Valley placed third in the 1500 and 5000 meter races, setting PRs in both races. O'Donnell ran 4 minutes 48.23 seconds in the 1500 and 18.16 in the 5K. Grace Weller ran a PR in the 1500 and Kaylee Stryker did so in the 5K. Keegan Rankin, a former Lathrop Malmute, led the Alaska men's team, placing fifth overall in the men's 5000 meter race. He finished in 15 minutes 44 seconds for his PR. And rookie Lion Kopsek out of Colony followed up with another PR and he was 17th overall. One of the Harlem Globetrotters made an appearance in Fairbanks today. They will entertain the interior this Sunday at the Carlson Center, but today one Globetrotter gave some kids something to remember other than basketball tricks. Here's more. University Park Elementary students were surprised by a special guest this afternoon, Slick Willie Shaw of the Harlem Globetrotters visited the kids to teach them some basketball moves as well as their ABCs. Those aren't just letters, they're an acronym for the ABCs of bullying prevention. The reason Shaw came to the school. We all know bullying is something that's really going on in our, in our youth. So what the Harlem Globetrotter did was we teamed up with another organization called the National Campaign to Stop Violence. And we came up with a program called ABCs of Bullying Prevention Program. A stands for action, B stands for bravery, and C stands for compassion. By using those three letters and those three words, they can help prevent bullying from happening in their schoolyards and in their communities. Shaw put on a show. The students were engaged and had fun as they saw their fellow students do some Globetrotter tricks and even witnessed one of their teachers get down. Even with all the excitement, one of the things Shaw emphasized was able to stick with the kids. What did you learn about today's program with Lil Friday? That bullying is definitely not cool and people shouldn't do it. Well, I think that someone like him is making a message and so people will want to follow his example. Yeah, I think uh, the anti-bullying message was really good and it was a fun way for the kids to hear it. It's not my first time in Alaska, not my first time in Fairbanks. I'm ready to have a good time. We want everybody to come out this Sunday on the 12th and have a great time. You know, the game lasts four quarters, but the memories last a lifetime. <laughs> Slick also stopped by the Fairbanks Morning News to visit J.R. Lewis. Here's a little preview. So what is it that now brings you to, to Fairbanks? What is this show all about? Well, this year we're bringing to Fairbanks our 2015 Washington Generals Revenge World Tour. We haven't played the Washington Generals in over five years. A lot of people may not know this, but the last time we lost to the Generals is 1971. You can catch part one of this special visit to the Fairbanks Morning News with J.R. Lewis on Thursday, and part two will be on Friday morning. Well, you'll see more of this. And that's a wrap for sports tonight as I continue to get ready for Sunday. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Mike Schultz is next with your full weather forecast, and we'll catch you next time.